The first rodeos were organized for cowboys in the Old West to compete against each other, doing the things they needed to do for their jobs. What rodeo has become is big money, televised sport, with a following that rivals any of the major sports in North America. Just like counterparts playing little league tra or travel soccer, one area teenager has hopes of joining the big leagues one event at a time. Randy Slaughter has been involved with rodeo for about 30 years and totally understands the perception that those who race horses and rope livestock might not be the most sane among us. We are. We're rodeo people. We are nuts. I mean, it's just, it's a life for us. It is a lifestyle, just like baseball and soccer and football. You know, it's, it's like your travel team. That's what we are. It was natural that her children would follow in her footsteps, even if she didn't push them in that direction. Even her daughter, Charlie, whose introduction to horses didn't have the best of beginnings. Do you remember the name of your first horse? I think his name was Flash. I think. Was he fast? No. <laughs> he just walked. There was a time I didn't think she'd have anything to do with horses when she was growing up. And it took till about she hit, she started riding when she was five and it was okay. By the time she was seven, she liked it a little more, but it really hit her when she was in fifth grade that she wanted to do this. Charlie got bit by the rodeo bug when she started calf roping in grade school, trying to tackle animals bigger than she was. I'm on a horse when I'm doing it, so it's a little bit easier, but it's not, it was not easy at all. But as with any other sport, Charlie discovered that practice does in fact make perfect, or at least closer to perfect. Her awards and trophies suggest that she is getting closer all the time. Four saddles, 32 buckles, countless breast collars, halters, prizes, anything you can name it, and I don't want to think about the money she's won, because it's all spent anyway. <laughs> Belt buckles are the biggest prize in rodeo, including the one Charlie won this past year for being the best in the state of Virginia. They're just the prize that you get for doing what you like. Charlie admits getting nervous before events until she attended a larger rodeo in South Dakota that was televised. It was there she learned that she could be competitive against other teens from all over the country. Her nerves went away. Mom's nerves are a different story. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up every run, not gonna lie. My nerves hit me about three people before she's going in there and I'm pacing and I'm walking and I'm screaming and I'm yelling like the crazy banshee on the side. Park! Park! And there's an obvious danger to all of this, just like any other sport. It's not if you're going to get hurt, it's when and how bad and how long will it take you to get back into it. I was goat tying and I fell and flipped over and my neck, I, we're not sure what happened, but it like made two vertebrae pop up and I'm still walking. And any cowboy is only as good as his or her horse. Charlie has Caramel, who checks all the boxes of a great partner. They just have to not be scared of anything. They have to be willing to just go in and do it and just stay controlled and not lose their mind. Which also describes how Charlie steadies herself as well. She recently qualified for the North American High School Nationals in Nebraska by finishing in the top four in the state in four different events another step towards where she has always hoped the sport would take her. I don't have a reason why I do it. I just love it and it just makes me happy. It's just all around fun and keeps you out of trouble. Breakaway has just hit it in the last year of being a huge event for women. And it's just, it's major that that has come this far because that gives her nothing but a better opportunity to get out there and get it done. Charlie recently came back from the national event in Nebraska, where unfortunately she suffered a hand injury that kept her from doing better. She did place in the top 30% in two events and already has plans to qualify for next year's finals in Wyoming. If you would like to nominate someone for us to profile, email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.